Well, I know where the missing lamb is. He's got his head stuck in the fence. Yes, silly fellow. And look, there's plenty of grass here. Plenty in amongst the thistles, ha ha. Okay, little fella. Looks like you've been here for a little while. Hey, shush, move away, Brindle. Oh, come on, mister. Okay, he's... You've got your head. There we go. Woo! Job done. So he got his head caught in the middle there. Silly sheep. You can see where he was grazing on the other side. And he was pooping. So this was last night. So... What I might do is open this gate and let them out into this area. Plenty of grass in there. I think I'm going to do that with the lambs. I'll open that and then I'll call them and hopefully they'll all come galloping over the ridge. Okay, the gate's tied back. And I have this space open. And there's loads of grass. This is what's so nice about having smaller fields. You can keep moving the sheep on. And another couple of years, hopefully the thistles will be gone. Anyway. Mon! Woo! Mon! Mon, babies! Mon! They're not used to me calling them this way. The grown you flock would be. Come on! As you can see, there's still loads of grass in here. It's just, I like giving the best grass to the lambs. Hey, babies! Come on! Woo! Come on! Now they're over there near the water because they think that's where I'm calling to because they're used to me moving them that way. In here, there's loads of yarrows and herbs and red clover and, oh God, delicious sward. That has been left to rest since I took the animals out in uh, March. So, hey babies, come on. Woo, come on babies. They are not interested. <laughs> Pathetic. Lilac, that is a pathetic bar. Come on, Woo! come on, babies. Come on, out of babies. Come on, Woo! come on, come on, come on, out of girl lilac. Lead the way. Come on, Woo! come on, Woo! come on, come on, Woo! come on. Out of babies, come on, come on, come on, Woo. come on babies, Woo. come on, come on, out of babies, come on, they're like where are you leading us, we don't know of a trough here. Come on! Come on! Out of babies! Come on! Out of babies! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Out of babies! Come on! Here they come. 
in their single file and spreading out to graze. The alpaca suddenly realized, oh, the gate's open. We can come out here now. Look at that. Loads of delicious food. You can see the height of Inca, how tall the grass is. Not a bad height for grass in mid-November. Uh, October. Excuse me, it's October, not November. Yes. So everybody's now in this fresh bit of grazing. And very happy at it too. Look at that. There's dock and there's different kinds of herbs from the buttercup family. There's some dandelions. Yes, and there's a dog. Are you growing here? Are you a dog that's growing? The cool thing is that there's um, crab apples. There's one there, one there, one there. And so the windfall apples, the sheep will be eating as well. But there's loads of stuff in here. There is salad burnet and yarrow and See, here's a yarrow right here. You can see it's lacy leaves. Oh, and here's the leaves at the bottom. And you're rolling around in it. What are you doing there? Did a fox mark that place? Anyway, they are gonna have a lovely time. You can see, that's the fresh stuff. You can see how they pushed the fence and grazed all the way up to it. They just, lambs are always spoilt. They like the best stuff. My grandfather was great about planting crab apples. So these are, whoops, I just dropped them. Oh, you just never know where they are. Let's see, you want these? No, you're well used to crab apples. You're not interested in them. They like the sweet apples in the orchard. That's the apples they like, isn't it? You know you're not terribly hungry when you refuse apples. Hmm? She's getting much better now. Poor girl. And you're nearly fully recovered. You could almost go back out with the lambs again. But I'm still putting cream on these other rios. Isn't that right? With that lovely belch. Okay. Some of this morning's job's done.